one of my one of my really good favorite pa uh, painters, Ernie Barnes, right? Um, I can remember reading about him a long time ago, and there was and he was uh, he was visiting the uh, North Carolina um, Museum of Arts, and which was recently desegregated, and he he was looking for they were on a field trip, and he was looking for um, artists that look like him. And they responded to, to, to him with, your people don't express themselves like this. I can remember growing up just sitting in the classroom and um, knowing that, wait, 20, 10 years ago was different than now. And I can remember going to my grandfather and asking him that, and my grandmother going and pulling out pictures of a different time, which was honestly crazy. I, I I don't think most people realize how far away, how far we've come um, in such short amount of time. I've noticed over the over a course of time that I do put a lot of African Americans in my work, and I think that it's because it's a product of my environment. I mean, everyone that's how they express themselves was music you know, uh, uh, visual art, uh, dance, it's, it's, you, you are a product. You put out the product of, uh, what you've experienced. I think that we're, be we're becoming comfortable, so comfortable in our settings that we aren't remembering, um, that it was hard for us to be where we are now. Art is one of those things that basically honestly can help you survive it's it's in its purest form it's like meditation it's it's releasing uh what you have to contribute to the world out